now we'll discuss another important property uh, so differentiation property in frequency domain let's say dtft and here the signal is in uh, discrete domain that's why differentiation is not defined in time domain so mainly uh, differentiation property will apply in frequency domain and if there is a signal x of n and the Fourier transform is x of e raised to j omega then if there is a signal like this n into x of n if you want to find out the dtft of the signal n into x of n instead of calculating uh, by using the formula we can directly write the result like this j into derivative of x of e raised to j omega where x of e raised to j omega is a Fourier transform of x of n so n into x of n can be calculated by using this differentiation property of dtft j into d by d omega into x of e raised to j omega means we need to take the derivative of the signal and we need to multiply with a constant j now we'll see how to solve this question uh, by using differentiation property so here is a signal uh, find the dtft of the signal x of n is equal to a n into uh, 4 by 5 the old ratio n into e of n uh, okay let it be uh, x1 of n okay the signal uh, we need to find the Fourier transform of x1 of n is a n into 4 by 5 old ratio n into e of n by using the result uh, we can uh, write so if you take this part uh, we can assume that this is x of n and uh, this is x1 of n so we will get n into x of n so this is in a general form 4 by 5 old ratio n into e of n which can be applied in this particular result a raised to n into e of n which is written by 1, by 1 minus a raised to j omega so I can write uh, the Fourier transform x of x of e raised to j omega x of e raised to j omega is equal to 1 by 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega which is the Fourier transform of this part 4 by 5 raised to n into e of n which is written as x of n now we can see that uh, we need to find the dtft dtft of the signal n into x of n that is our x1 of n this much part indicating x1 of n so which is simply written as uh, by using the property j into d by d omega of x of e raised to j omega in this case x of e raised to j omega is 1 by 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega so you can re substitute here so j into this time I can write 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to minus 1 and uh, we need to find the derivative of this d by d omega so I can expand this so j into minus 1 into 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to minus 2 into now we'll take first the derivative of this part and we need to find the derivative of the term 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega so I'll write the remaining so it becomes minus 4 by 5 into e raised to minus j omega and here the variable is omega so again we need to write one more term so into minus j so I can simplify this so there is a minus here and minus so minus minus becomes plus and there is a j term and here also one j term j is an imaginary term so if you multiply j into j it's again minus 1 into minus 1 so we'll get 1 so the f answer will be in a positive term so we can write uh, the final answer like this so remaining term is uh, 4 by 5 
e raised to minus j omega and this term I can I can move to denominator so this minus 2 becomes plus 2 so divided by 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega the whole raised to 2 or all square so this is the final answer so very important uh, property uh, mostly in exams they will ask this question is in the form uh, n into x of n if you directly do this is very difficult to simplify the summation so always prefer this differentiation property uh, when there is a signal n into x of n try to write like this you need to group the non signal and into n and uh, you can see that the final result is 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega 1 minus 4 by 5 e raised to minus j omega the whole square it's very simple to write so always choose this this method when there is a question like this n into x of n or you need to modify the signal and you need to write is in the form of n into x of n and apply the differentiation property